welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to my channel welcome to medcode inside hi i am nishaba a certified medical coder in this video we will discuss the biopsy of skin another topic within the integumentary system we will cover different techniques used for skin biopsies as well as guidelines for coding these procedure whether using the same or different techniques The biopsy procedure code 11102 to 11107 used to obtain tissue solid for diagnostic histopathologic examination was performed independently or was unrelated or distinct from other procedure or services provided at that time. Biopsy of the skin is reported under three distinct techniques. It may be tangential, punch, or incisional biopsy. Code 11102 is used for tangential biopsy of the skin for a single lesion. Add-on code 11103 is for E separate or additional lesion. Tangential biopsy includes shave, scope, saucerize, curate, and is performed with a sharp blade. It is used to remove a sample of epidermal tissue with or without portion of underlying dermis. Code 11104 is used for the punch biopsy of the single lesion. And add-on code 11105 is for E separate or additional lesion. Punch biopsy requires a punch tool to remove a full thickness cylinder sample of skin for the purpose of diagnostic pathologic examination. Simple closure of the defect is included in the service. Manipulation of the biopsy defect to improve wood approximation is included in the simple closure. Code 11106 is used for the incisional biopsy of the skin for the single lesion. An add-on code 11107 is used for E separate or additional lesion. Incisional biopsy requires the use of a sharp blade, which is used to remove the full thickness sample of the tissue via a vertical incision or wedge, penetrating deep to the dermis into the subcutaneous space. Although closure is usually performed after incisional biopsies, simple closure is not separately reported. Important key points for skin biopsy provided on CPT page number 85 include a different scenario in which it should or should not be used when performed in conjunction with excision, destruction, or shape removal. It also outlines how to code for simple closure when performed along with punch or incisional biopsy, as well as how to code when multiple biopsies of the same type are using different techniques are performed. For coding skin biopsies, always refer to this table as it will help to easily eliminate option based on same or different techniques used for skin biopsies. Here are some coding guidelines you need to know while coding for biopsy of the skin. Biopsy of the skin is reported under three distinct techniques. It may be tangential, punch or incisional biopsy. If multiple biopsy of the same types are performed, the primary code for date biopsy should be used along with the corresponding add-on codes. When two or three different biopsy techniques are performed to sample separate or additional lesions, select the appropriate primary biopsy code plus an additional add-on code for each additional biopsy performed. For punch and incisional biopsy, simple closure is not separately reported. During certain surgical procedure in the integumentary system, such as excision, destruction, or shape removal, the removed tissue is often submitted for pathologic examination. The obtaining of tissue for pathology during the course of this procedure is a routine component. This obtaining of tissue is not considered a separate biopsy procedure and is not separately reported.
a 33 year old female patient arrives at dermatologist office with a suspicious lesion on her right arm and another on the left arm after examination the physician find that these lesions are highly suspicious and obtains consent to perform punch biopsy on both sides after prepping and draping the areas in the sterile fashion a 4 mm punch biopsy of the 3 cm lesion on the right arm and 5 mm punch biopsy of the 2 cm lesion on the left arm are taken the sites are closed with a simple one layer closure the patient is scheduled to return in 10 days for suture removal and to discuss the pathology results option a with the service code 11104 and 11105 option b with the service code 11106 and 11107 option c with the service code 11104 11105 and 12002 along with modifier 51 option d with the service code 11102 and 11103 in the given scenario 4 mm punch biopsy of the 3 cm lesion on the right arm and 5 mm punch biopsy of the 2 cm lesion of the left arm is performed for the punch biopsy we use code 11104 and 11105 first we will eliminate the option b with the codes which are used for the incisional biopsy we will also eliminate option d with the codes used for the tangential biopsy both option a and c have codes used for the punch biopsy Option C with the code 12002 is used for the simple closure. As simple closure is included in the punch biopsy, we will also eliminate option C. Our correct option is option A with the code 11104 for initial lesion and add-on code 11105 for each additional lesion. A 56-year-old female with a history of skin cancer arrives to her dermatologist's office for the biopsy of three suspicious lesions. The physician performed three separate biopsies on each of the lesion. An incisional biopsy of 2.5 cm lesion on the arm is carried out first, followed by the tangential biopsy of 4 cm lesion on the chest and then the punch biopsy of 3 cm lesion on the back is performed. What procedure code best describe this encounter? Option A with the service code 11102 into 2 and 11106. Option B with the service code 11106, 11104 and 11102. Option C with the service code 11106, 11103 into 2. Option D with the service code 11106. 11,103 and 11,105. In the given scenario, incisional biopsy of 2.5 cm lesion on the arm, tangential biopsy of 4 cm lesion on the chest and punch biopsy of 3 cm lesion on the back is performed. When two or three different biopsy techniques are performed to sample separate or additional lesion, we must select the appropriate primary biopsy code plus additional add-on code for each additional biopsy performed. On the basis of this guideline, we will first eliminate option A, B and C. Option D with the primary code 11106 is for incisional biopsy plus additional add-on code 11103 for tangential biopsy and add-on code 11105 for punch biopsy. For each additional biopsy performed on separate or additional lesion. A patient is an 83 year old male with a biopsy proven breast cell carcinoma on the posterior neck near his hairline. Additionally, the patient has two other areas of concern on his cheek. 
The areas were prepped and draped in the usual steroid fashion. Attention was first directed to the basal carcinoma on the neck. Excision of the lesion measuring 2.6 cm was carried down to the subcutaneous field and closed with extensive undermining in layer using 4.0 monocryl, 5.0 proline, and 6.0 proline. The wound measured 4.5 cm. Attention was then directed to the other two suspicious lesions on the cheek. After administering local anesthesia, a 3 mm punch biopsy was performed on each lesion and the wounds were closed using 5.0 proline. The patient tolerated the procedure well. Pathology later confirmed that the basal cell carcinoma was completely removed and the biopsy indicated actinic keratosis. Option A with the code 11623, 13132 along with modifier 51, 11104 along with modifier 59, 11105. Option B with the code 11622, 13131 along with modifier 51, 11104 along with modifier 59, 11105 along with modifier 59. Option C with the code 11623, 12042 along with modifier 51, 11104 along with modifier 59, 11105. Option D with the code 13132, 11623 along with modifier 51, 11440 along with modifier 51, 11440 along with modifier 51. In the given scenario, excision of a biopsy proven basal cell carcinoma, which is a malignant lesion on the posterior neck near hairline, measuring 2.6 cm and repair using the repair length of 4.5 cm with extensive undermining in layer, which is also known as complex repair and 3 mm punch biopsy on each lesion of the cheek is performed. First, we will eliminate option D. With the code 11,440 used for the excision of benign lesion. We will also eliminate option B, which involves the use of a modifier with add on code 11,105. Additionally, we will eliminate the option C using code 12,042 for intermediate repair. As complex repair is used to close the wound. As three lesions were addressed, the first lesion is a malignant neoplasm of the neck. In the CPT for the excision of the skin malignant lesion, we use the code range 11600 to 11646. The range is narrowed by the location of the neck, which is 11620 to 11626. The lesion size is 2.6 cm, making 11,623 the correct code. For this lesion, extensive undermining of the wound and the use of multiple suture materials support the use of complex closure. The repair length is 4.5 cm, making 13,132 the correct code. Modify 51 is used to indicate the multiple procedures were performed. After the lesion of the neck was removed, two punch biopsies on the cheek were taken. Biopsies are typically included in excision. It is necessary to use the modifier 59 for the first biopsy, indicating it was performed at separate location than the excision. Modifier 59 is not used on the second biopsy code because it is an add-on code. So our correct option is option A with the code 11,623, 13,132 along with modifier 51, 11,104 along with modifier 59, and 11,105. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or need for the clarification, please feel free to write in the comment section. 
for more detailed guidelines, CPC mock exam related questions and notes, email me at the giving email ID.